I've been playing around with the delusion calculators for men and women. Just do a search for male or female delusion calculator and you'll find them. Select age, minimum height and income, exclude married, obesity, etc. I used my own info, six foot tall, not married, fat, all of that. I'm in the top 0.7% of white men aged 45 to 54. And that's not even factoring in actual physical attractiveness. If the data could quantify for the difference between not being fat and having a muscular athletic physique, that number would go from 0.7% to something probably more like 0.2%. Men, type in your own stats. For example, if you're in your early 40s, average height, not fat, make a good living but sub six figures, you're still in the top 2.3% of men. The women you're giving your attention to, are they the top one or 2% of women? I'm betting not. And then do your own mental calculations. Is she actually attractive or just not fat? The average woman has at least a double digit body count. So for her to truly be the top one or 2% of women, you'd have to be fairly confident that she's not been ran through. So men, if you're in the top one or 2%, why settle for chunky, ran through, leftover women? 